welcome to round four of the Parenting Roundabout podcast for the week of April 22nd. I'm Nicole Erdix and I'm here with Terry Morrow. Hello. And Catherine Haleko. Hi. As moms of teens and young adults, we've survived those little kid days, yet we're still rethinking the decisions we've made through all our kids' lives and worrying about what's going on right now. Today is Thursday, which means it's time to give in to our obsessing about parenting details, big and small, and today's obsession is prom. Mm. So. It's coming. Proming. Prom. The prom. Today is. (laughs) We're going to prom it out. (laughs) I'll just sit over here and play with sandbox (laughs) because... I'm my kids are post prom and they weren't even proming when they could prom. So, well, but we've seen pictures of your prom. That's, yes, yeah, that's true. <laughs> and I'm sure you have seen people's prom posts on social media, and of course the ever popular promposal posts. Mm-hmm. Um. Although, thankfully, I was saying to Catherine earlier, thankfully this year, they don't seem to be as much of a big deal as what they have in the past. So I wonder if the tide is changing, turning, what do you say? (laughs) Yeah, promposals are not such a big deal. Well, and the funny thing about them, if you think about it, so it's, it would be people who are already like dating. Yes. Right? So it's already a given that they're going to the prom together. Exactly. Like, why do you need a promposal? <laughs> it, it, it'd be one thing if it was somebody, you know, asking out a girl that he'd never yes. been out with. But then, you know, that's too much pressure on her to say yes because well, he did there's... this whole big thing. And, you know... Yeah, like it's not, it's not, it doesn't work if you don't know that the answer is going to be yes. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, my son asked, yeah, my my son had two different situations where one was his girlfriend and they had been dating for a year. Yeah. (laughs) He had to go through this whole big, you know, fancy thing because that's when the promposals were just kind of sort of coming in. Mm-hmm. And then the second time it was a friend of his, but he had done all the background work, you know, like, do you think she'll say yes? You know, he talked to all her friends <laughs> and made sure that this was going to be a sure thing. And then he, he, he asked her to prom and they went more so as friends with anything, but yeah, the whole promposal thing. But so you have to do a promposal, even if you're just going as friends, like that's crazy. Well, yes. uh, yeah, at the time it's, you know, that's when he wanted to have it. I, well, they were still going with dates too, right? So there was right at that time it was a combination of people who were already dating and then people who wanted to have a date. Uh-huh. But now, like in my daughter's generation, she's five years younger. Nobody's going with dates unless you already have a boyfriend. Yeah, so they're just all going as groups of girls and groups of guys. And yeah, that seems to be what my daughter's friends are doing too. Yeah, Interesting. yeah. No, there's no, and and some, you know. Some people are not even going, which is interesting. You know, in the past, it'd be like, oh, my gosh, you're missing prom kind of thing. But some people are just choosing not to go. Um, mm. Mind you, it's a ridiculously far away place that they're having it. It's, huh. it's an hour and a half away. And that's the weekend of Stagecoach because it's being held in Indian Wells in, here in Southern California. And that's where they have the big Stagecoach and Coachella festivals. Okay. Oh, so there's no any there's no accommodation, and mm-hmm. so they have to drive back late at night. It's just prom. Jeez. I'm so over it. <laughs> 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 I know you have a few more years to go, Catherine, but oh, I'm done. I'm going to pass the torch to you. <laughs> <laughs> Between the dress and the and the nails and the hair and the shoes and the everything, it's just ah, wow, well. yeah. It's quite the quite the ordeal. I could only like it to a wedding. (laughs) So far, knock on wood, my daughter is being fairly low key about it. Like we have, Mm -hmm. well, we ordered two dresses. Uh huh. As you know, assuming we were going to send one back because she couldn't decide between the colors, and they were not exactly the same dress, but. Similar, but two different colors. Let me guess. So one of them is lavender. 
No, one was like a blush pink. Oh, okay. And the other one was red. And I've seen a lot of red. Um, Kristen's is red. Yeah. But the I, other I, big one is lavender. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, she gets, we got both of them. And, you know, the plan was see which color is better. Well, she liked the red one better, but it doesn't fit. So I had to send both of them back. Mm. And now we're waiting for the red ones in the other size. Right. So I'm very nervous that I have two weeks, but, you know, like, <laughs> will it turn around in time? And if it doesn't, then what? Yes. Yeah, so, but she, and she wants to get her hair colored before nope. the prom, but she also says that she's using, she's not going to make a hair appointment until she gets a job because that's going to be her motivator to get a job. And I'm like, you realize this mm-hmm. is only two weeks away, right? <laughs> like, this is. <laughs> yeah. So I Yikes. don't know how that's going to go, but she's actually doing her friend's hair for the prom. A girl who goes to a different school, so they don't, they have prom on different days. Mm-hmm. Um, and her friend wants to pay her to do it. And oh, wow. so now she feels like, oh, my gosh, it has to be really, really good. <laughs> She's going to pay me because she did it last year and, and the friend really liked it. Um, so she said, well, this year I want to pay you because you did such a good job. And so now she feels like, oh, oh. Wow. And are they getting profe- professional prom photos taken beforehand? No. Because now that's a thing, too. Oh, no. That's oh, yeah. not a thing here. At least, as far as I know, you pay for <laughs> you pay for a well, semi professional. I guess it would be to get your group photos done before the prom, before the dance, hmm. so that can Kristen do the photography herself? <laughs> <laughs> like she she could make money. Like my daughter could well, make money doing hair. She could make money <laughs> taking pictures. Yeah, and she she has done that in the past, and she was supposed to do it this year, but it didn't fall through but with her own prom she didn't want to have to deal with it so right she actually asked her friend who's a photographer and they're paying him to come out and take some photos and I don't blame her I mean they're all I mean this they put a lot of money into this and they put a lot of work into it and I don't blame them that they want something that's nice to look back on (laughs) yeah not just everyone's mom with their iPhone yes (laughs) and they're everybody's looking different ways and they're blurry and anyway well and it's funny because there's just there's only a few locations in our area where people take pictures yeah so like before homecoming and before the prom you go to like one of two parks and everybody everybody's there there. (laughs) yeah ours is the university in town everybody goes Mm -hmm. to the university grounds so yes but they're not getting a limo this year usually in the past, the limo's been the big deal, but no limo. Mm-hmm. They're all driving themselves out there. Wow. Is that going to be okay? Oh, that's what I'm worried about. You know, they're yeah. going. A long Kristen's way. the one that's driving, too. She's driving her group of friends. So then coming back. And I said, yeah. I offered, I said, I'll take you guys out there and wait around and have dinner and then bring you back. And she's like, oh, gosh, no, 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 no. You're staying far away. <laughs> You could wear a disguise. Yeah. You know? I know, right? She's like, nope. No. I well, don't that's know. not fun to have to be the driver. Gosh. No. So, yeah, it's it's just one of those things where I'm going to look forward to not having to spend money on anymore. Mm-hmm. And now we have this wardrobe full of uh, dresses and homecoming dresses and prom dresses and most of mine are in my attic right now. Are they? Lots of gunny sacks. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So I've got to figure out what to do with those. Actually, we passed them on to my neighbor's daughter, but <laughs> the rest of them. So, listeners, if <sighs> you have children that are in high school, start saving for prom season. In addition oh, to Insurance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. or like me, you can just obsess about kids who didn't go to prom. But right. That, damn yeah. If you do, damn at the time, don't. at the time, I was secretly obsessing. You know, is there any way? 
I don't know. My my son did go to the junior prom, but then he just he could have gone to the senior prom, but he just was profoundly uninterested. So I thought, you know, I'm not going to push it. No. Yeah. And my daughter just didn't, even though, you know, there are groups of kids going together without dates. She didn't feel like she had, I don't think she had a squad like that, that she could go with and Mm -hmm. she would have felt just really uncomfortable. So Mm -hmm. I guess I kind of obsessed about the sadness over that back at the time, but now eh, got all that money that I could. Yeah, not been so spent there. A big deal. Sit but, in and the then bank. kids are just deciding not to go. Period, and it's just not yeah. a big deal. They just don't feel like it. So right, yeah. I mean, I don't think she she wasn't upset about it. I was more upset. You know, she was like, right. "No, nah, that sounds like a fun night to me." So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, yeah. Well, that's it for today's round four. On that note. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the heck out of here. Let's get in the limo and go home. <laughs> Tune in tomorrow and we'll share our roundabout roundup of things we've been using or enjoying lately that we think deserve a shout out. Find all our episodes at parentingroundabout.com and talk back in the comments there on our Facebook page or on Twitter where you'll find us at Roundabout Chat. <laughs> <laughs>